a slightly more complicated example of the equilibrium constant calculation using a Shrek table would be something like what we have here. Now this question does not give you the initial volume of the container and what that normally means is that you are allowed to decide what the volume is going to be. So the easiest decision to make is to make that volume one cubic decimeter because that allows you to easily convert between concentrations and volumes. Then this question reads, at a certain temperature solutions of nitrogen, hydrogen and ammonia, each with concentrations of 0 0.5 molar are placed in a sealed container. What that tells us is that since the concentration is 0 0.5 molar and we know that number of moles is equal to concentration times volume and since we've selected an easy volume we can directly convert those initial values to numbers of moles. So what this question has told us is it says that at the start 0 0.5 moles of each of these reagents is added to a closed or sealed container. They then go on to say that at equilibrium it is found that the concentration of nitrogen is 0 0.4 molar. Again, we can immediately convert that to a number of moles at equilibrium, which is obviously then also 0 0.4 moles. Now once we've got this Shrek table set up, we can now say, since we understand that if we started with 0.5 moles of nitrogen and ended with 0.4, we must have used up or reacted 0.1 moles of nitrogen. We can now also see that the ratio in which nitrogen reacts with hydrogen is 1 to 3. So for every 0.1 moles of nitrogen that reacts, we must have reacted 0.3 moles of hydrogen. And then what this also says is that when we are using up nitrogen, we will produce twice as much ammonia. As we can see, the ratio is 1 to 2. So when we use up 0 0.2, 0 0.1 moles of nitrogen, we will produce or create 0 0.2 moles of ammonia. We can now, since we know what quantities we start with and we know how much reacted, we can say, since we started with 0.5 moles of hydrogen, reacted 0.3, we must have ended with 0.2 moles of hydrogen at equilibrium. We already know the amount of nitrogen at equilibrium, and we can calculate the amount of ammonia at equilibrium by saying, starting with 0.5, forming 0.2, we must end with 0.7 moles. Again, these can easily be converted into concentrations because our volume is 1, which means that this is a 0.2 mole per cubic decimeter concentration and this is a 0.7 mole per cubic decimeter concentration. So to calculate the equilibrium constant for this reaction we know that it is the concentration of our products in this case ammonia to the power of its exponent over the concentration of our reactants hydrogen to the power of its, constant, of its coefficient and nitrogen also to the power of its coefficient, which means that our equilibrium concentration, our equilibrium constant can be calculated as follows. And what this tells us, the fact that this equilibrium constant is so much bigger than 1, is it tells us that equilibrium lies far to the right. We know that equilibrium lying to the right means that at equilibrium we will find more products than reactants, which makes sense here because we can clearly see I have 0.7 moles of products and only a combined 0.6 moles of reactants.